It's been five weeks, so it is time to do infill, hard gel infill on myself, coming up. Hello guys, I'm Anastasia and these are my nails made of gel five weeks ago and it is time to do infill. So today you will see my regular routine infill. There won't be any big problems such as lifting or broken nails as you can see. First I will make them shorter by using a blue abrasive carbide bead and I decided to make them a bit shorter. Now let's take a look at index finger. So this one is growing downwards a little bit. But when I make it shorter, we have some thickness right here, which means I can file the product from underneath and this is how I'm going to fix that. Every time you file off the length and make any nails shorter, you will definitely have this thickness underneath because we're getting closer to the apex, the original apex that we created. So this is normally happening and if the nails are growing downwards, you can simply file all this excess thickness off underneath and this is it. Usually at this point I file off the natural nail as well, but I'm not going to do it this time because I need the length of my natural nails for some new upcoming videos. Now take a look how thin it is, but do not worry since we are adding more product on the top later. Now let's push back the cuticles with orange wood stick and every time I do that I reminisce how my cuticles were before I started working in the nail industry, so honestly my cuticles they were not growing at all. I mean it always looked like I had a fresh manicure, but I started experimenting on myself, you know, with everything, with e-file, with cutters, with nippers, all the time, so now I have to trim the cuticles from time to time. Then I'm going to file off the top coat with a buffer and you do not have to do it with a file, you can use an e-file as well. I just have a very thin coat, so that will be enough. And then with a regular hand file, I'm going to fix the sidewalls. And actually I have to fix them only on this nail, because on other ones it's okay. Now let's do the cuticle care. I will start with flame bit and work on the left side first. The speed is around 15,000 rotations per minute, by the way. And you probably noticed if you've been watching my videos that the speed varies because it depends on the type of the skin, on the type of the cuticle. So please do not use the same speed or abrasive bit on each client since we all have different skin types and different cuticle types. And if you would like to learn more about it, then you can follow the link in the description box. I have an online course about e-file manicure. After that, I'm going to trim the cuticles with scissors. Even though this part usually looks painful for most people, it should not be like that. So if you feel any pain, if your client feels pain, that means you're probably touching the regular skin and we're supposed to cut off only the dead tissue. Like I always say in my classes, it is always better to under trim the cuticles rather than over trim. Alright, so now let's do the prep. I will apply dehydrator only on the part where we have an outgrown natural nail and non-acid primer on the same part. And then I will use a base coat. I'm using the one by Cupa. Once again, apply it only on the natural nail and make sure you're not touching the skin or the sidewalls. Cure in LED for 30 seconds and now let's apply gel. First, I apply the gel on entire surface and in this video I will be using NSI Cover Pink Warm Builder Pink. So I apply it on the entire surface since on this nail I have not only to add the product near the cuticle, but also I need to add a little bit on the free edge since we filed off a bunch of product underneath. So then I will take more gel push it and now without losing the contact with the brush moving back and forth I will slightly move it down. Do not forget that we need to rebuild the apex which should be located in the center and do not apply too much on the sidewalls and near the free edge. I personally love this medium thick consistency, it just works ideal for me, but if you're working for too long you can turn the hand around so 
the center will go where you need it. Now cure for one minute and this is what we have. As you can see, there is really not much to file. One of the most frequent questions that I get is how long should infill take? So if this is a regular infill like this one, I do not have to fix nails that are growing upwards or downwards. There is no broken nails, no lifting, and normally it is like that. So the infill will take about an hour or so. When I used to work with clients every day, then sometimes I could do it in about 40 minutes because as you can see, there is really not that much to do. You just file them short, you just prep them, then you apply the product and everything depends on that part mostly. If you apply it really well, then the filing part will not take long, about 10 to 15 minutes. And another part which might take longer, of course, is the design. Because if your client wants a very complicated design with rhinestones and hand painting, then yes, this is definitely might take longer. So we're finishing up here with the application and let's cure it for one minute. And this is what we have after application. So now what we need to do is just a very slight retouch of the shape and the surface and that's it. So first take off the sticky layer and do not rub it towards the cuticle because we do not want any skin contact or allergies. And then I'm going to slightly file the nails. So when I'm working with hard gel, usually I file it with buffer, but sometimes I may also use a 180 grit file if I need to file off some excess product. And last step is the top coat and some of my nails have a very fat sidewalls, so that's why I use a paper clip to push them back. That's the only solution I found when working on myself. When you're working with a client, you do not have this problem since you can push them back with your own fingers, but on yourself, there's not that much you can do. So apply the no wipe top coat and cure it in LED for 30 seconds. And here we go, a quick infill on myself and now I have new nails ready to go. As you can see, they are not that much different from the original nails. They are not very thick. The only difference that I probably made them a bit shorter, but that's okay. Question of the day, how long does it usually take you to do an infill? Please share it in the comments, I would love to read that. And thank you so much for watching. If you're first time here, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!